I started dancing when I was two and a half, around three years old. And um, I used to do many different types of dances. Should I like name all of them? All of them? Okay, wait, let me go through them. Okay. Hip hop, jazz, tap, contemporary, acro. <laughs> ballet. She was always a toe walker and she was always on her tippy toes and uh, in our household we play a lot of music. We play music, we dance, we'll dance in the kitchen, the living room, we'll dance all over because that's the Caribbean. We're, I'm from the Caribbean and Caribbean we dance, play music and that's where she just, that's where she learned how to, uh, learn how to dance really. I was really into like music videos and like hip hop when I was really little. Dance has been a part of Wesley's life his whole life. Like when he was little, he was always moving, just climbing things and his movements were always big. And when he was about four or five, he started playing the Wii and there was a game called Let's Dance or something like that. And he just was captivated. He learned all of the dances, memorized them, and he would do it on and off of the Wii. And it became sort of like a party trick for us. We would be like, Wesley, do the dance, you know? And um, he just, from then on, it was always dance. I started dancing when I was five years old. Where do you think the interest in dance came from? Is there anyone in your family that's in dance or in the arts? My mother. She did a ballet in university, uh, which was very, very rare for a Korean woman in the late 1950s. And she did not see Jane. My mother died 23 years ago because of cancer. And seeing her granddaughter Jane do ballet at National Ballet School, she will be very happy and happy. My first year here was um, hard at times because I was very young and it was different being at a school without my parents there. And so at times I did get homesick, but um, I was very young and I was just excited about this whole new environment, being able to live with new friends and going to this um, new school where I got to train every day and um, most of the time I was overwhelmed by all these new experiences. At first I really didn't know what to expect. It was kind of hard to um, balance ballet classes and um, academics in grade six because um, I wasn't used to doing that at my other school and so um, when I came here I had to learn how to um, balance my time. It was obviously really difficult to be away from my family and my house and all that, but it wasn't completely like a complete shock because I knew I'd be going for dance and I had dance to kind of like secure me. I was honestly pretty excited, but my mom was super worried and she got me like all this winter gear because like that was one of her biggest things. She really didn't want me to like be cold, so. And I wasn't, so. I think it was most challenging for me just to let go in certain ways and to trust that he was being taken care of. There was, a, there was a couple of phone calls I remember where I was like, are you okay? If you're not okay and you can't tell me, like, <laughs> you know, send me a text that says, like, I, cause I wasn't sure, you know, what if he can't tell me? I don't know, you have, you write these stories. Like as a mom, you're always a little bit concerned with like the worst case scenario. It was just hard and you know i had spent so much time like do you have your tights do you have your shoes like all of those things to now just say what is your day like and are you having fun and you know i had to figure out how to be a mom from far away and so that just took a little bit of time as a mother i felt to say and sorry at time however as jane uh, Metroid, she loves her time back home as much as her time to MBS. 
I think they are another family of Jain. So proud of her. She's really mature in every time we meet. It's a joy seeing her dance. Um, I get inspired just watching her. I see her growing and developing into just a lovely dancer. And when I think about all the commitment and the hard work and the hours that's being put into her art form, um, you know, once again, it brings me joy. I just, yeah. Getting to do what you what you really love and want to do. I mean, so rarely does that happen for anyone. And so it feels a little bit like a miracle every time I see him on stage. And, you know, when you see your baby smile for the first time, it's like this amazing thing. And it's almost like that. When I see him doing ballet and I see him dancing, I see that joy that only like a mother could see, like you see them fully. As a parent or student, uh, yes, so appreciate to the donors and all those teachers and staffs. I just want to say thank you on, on behalf of, you know, myself and all the families. We could not afford to, to put him at MBS any other way if it wasn't for the support. And I know for a program like MBS, I mean, it's the government and it relies heavily on individual donors. So I'm so, so grateful. My family is forever grateful for the opportunity. And I know Wesley is really grateful too.